Big girl. Let's see. Let's, oh, sorry. You didn't see your head there. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, let's get some water for you. Mm -hmm. Going to try to ferminate the Eve. Then I'm going to vacuum. So, baby countdown. Today is the 12th. So we're going with 9 to 15 days. Right, with me. Yesterday we did nail trims, which was very exciting. Um, today we're going to try ferminating. This is a ferminator. It's a good way to um, brush them when they're shedding in the springtime, especially. Or if she objects. See about the fluff? I ferminated the bunny and she tried to eat all her fluff. Because she's so hungry. Now you're too far away. Now you're too far. How long will you stay here? What if I do this? Oh. Brush. Oh, it's very gentle. Do it gently. <laughs> Come here. Spring ferminating. Oh, she's not sure what she thinks. It's good at getting the 
dead undercoat out. Oh, is that your bump? Bump is... I feel like her bump area might be sensitive, so I don't want to do too much there. And I don't do tails either, because tails should be gloriously floofy. Right? Where are you going? Snack break. She worked up a hunger. <laughs> now there's poop everywhere. So as of last night, she weighed ten point four nine pounds. She's a big girl. Are you a big girl? She's gained more than three pounds since she's been here. Are you a big girl? Oh, such a big girl. And nine to 15 days is the, the updated estimate. Oh, good job. Cinderella from Laps, one of the other foster pregnant cats, had four babies yesterday. Very cute. Um, Doe, our first uh, pregnant feral cat that we trapped, um, she's having some serious baby belly activity, so she should have her babies, I would think, in the next couple of days. That will be our first uh, feral babies born. Um, we, although we actually, Doe is the one we re, we've been able to put in foster care, and she actually seems like she's uh, may have been socialized at some point. So possibly a cat that was dumped there, or that was socialized by someone at some point. Um, but she's been living with the colony for a long time, so um, they do tend to revert back to their unsocialized ways, but she, she has been making really good progress, so we're quite happy about that. So we may be able to um, get her adopted, which would be really wonderful. Um, so those babies are coming. Um, we know of at least two litters of kittens that have been born at the, at the, in the feral colony. We have an idea where one is. We don't have an idea where the other one is. And I think our four other moms that we have um, at LAPS will probably have babies in the next week or two-ish. It's hard to say. So we've got babies. We're gonna be swimming in kittens uh, in the next couple weeks and so now the next challenge is going to be finding homes for all of them. So, oh, look at that adorable kitten. You're so cute. You're so cute. Hi, what? Oh. I know. I know you're so adorable. Come here. Well, that was a good stretch. Oh, a good flop. You're so cute. Yeah. 
not very tolerant of belly touching. Yes. She was not very, not a fan of getting her nails trimmed yesterday. Um, but she was getting stuck on the carpet. And so I, I did it. So she's not going to get stuck in the carpet anymore. That's good. What else? Um, what else? Anything else? I don't know if there's anything else exciting. She was very squirmy. I try, I tend to avoid um, handling, I try not to handle them too much when they're pregnant because I don't want to hurt babies or cause stress, but um, she was not charmed by having her toenails stuck to the carpet either, so lesser evil, right? Yes, it's good to get used to that anyway. She's getting pretty big. So she's gained more than three pounds. It's very impressive work you've done on your belly. You were so little when you first came here, so little. to just hang out. So I'm going to have to vacuum in here. So let's see, Miss Eve might, might not appreciate that, but she'll, she can run off, she can scamper off into the other room if she wants. Um, yeah, don't know how many babies yet. Um, I'm not opening the window, uh, for a couple reasons. One is that she, um, some of you have probably seen her digging to, to get at something over there, so I don't want her to be able to um, have any risk of pushing out the screen or putting a hole in the screen so she could get out. And also because when I open the window, uh, when I'm in here, it makes her nervous. She growls and there's something that she smells in the outside that's unfamiliar and um, she doesn't like it. So. Um, no fresh air for you, Miss Eve, because she doesn't want it. She doesn't want it. I think at this stage in the pregnancy, they get nervous about any sort of potential threat. And so they're a little more, they want a little more control of their surroundings, don't you? Okay. Let's see. Um number of I don't I don't know if Eve has had window visitors there's it seems like there's definitely been something out there at, at some times but um we have a lot of squirrels and birds um I've seen a cat out there I know there are raccoons because they always get into garbage um so it's hard to say it's certainly likely what are you looking at? Um, yeah, we don't know how many babies. Um, when we x-rayed her when she was sick, we saw seven little um, uterus bubbles, but because we don't usually have them so early in their pregnancy, we don't have a lot of information about how, how that uh, works out. So. Um, we saw three on the last x-ray. Um, 
which we thought she was further along than she is. So um, what what I think is that she is just was just at the point where the babies were starting to mineralize, their skeletons were mineralizing, and that's what you see on the on the X-ray. So we only three of them, like the first three that were conceived, were uh, old enough to have calcified skeletons, which show up on the X-ray. And what I'm thinking is the rest of them were, you know, a couple days behind when they were conceived. So conceived a few days later. So not quite to that point yet. So uh, it helped us um, get a better idea of when she'll have babies, but it didn't help us determine how many babies there are, which was, which both things are good to know, but um, knowing the number of babies is pretty helpful. So I suspect there are closer to seven than closer to three, but just by the amount of weight she's gained um, and how big she is now, still having at least a week to go. So um, we'll find out though. I haven't decided if we're going to do another x-ray. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Fluff, I have fluff. Cat fluff. Eve fluff, all over. Okay. Next trapping day will probably be Wednesday, I believe. Although I'm hoping to get my GPS collar back at any any time I see Tiger. Tigerius has my GPS collar. He's been gathering data for us. And so I'm gonna need to trap him to get the collar back unless it has fallen off somewhere. In which case it, I don't know, it's gonna be difficult to find. Um, you're very cute. And of course, if I see Rollins, I'm gonna try to trap him um, at any point. So, you're so cute. But yes, we'll, we'll go for another round on Wednesday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're very cute. Very cute. All right, I'm now um, the feral moms to be uh, are doing okay at laps. Um, I think they're in probably pretty good accommodation for a feral cat, um, and they seem to be doing okay. They're not super stressed or aggressive so far. Uh, so that's good. Um, hopefully they will feel comfortable and not, not like they're being, like their babies are threatened or anything like that. So this is the first time we've really tried this, so, um, I think they're doing as well as could be expected, maybe probably a little bit better than we were expecting, so, uh, so far. So, um, we're hopeful that we'll be able to keep them um, with their babies until the babies are old enough to wean and then we'll spay and return the moms and then get the kittens immediately into like a foster home to be socialized. And then they should be totally like any other wonderful kitten. So you should, if you, if you went to adopt them, you would never know that they were born feral. As long as we can follow that program. So that's cool. So, but so that's what we have five of them. So that's twenty-five kittens. Twenty to twenty-five, probably, depending. I don't know how many babies they'll have. They're probably pretty efficient baby makers. And I think I don't think any of them. I should think who we have. I, it's hard to say if. It's first litters.
for some of them. I think it's not the first litter for most of them. So that would, to me, indicate we would have probably more kittens coming on the higher side, but hard to say, hard to say. Okay, I'm gonna vacuum, so you probably wanna mute You probably want to scamper away. You probably want to scamper. much it's not very much fluff but it's a little fluff all right here we go scamper away it's okay i know go run away I should get a treat for surviving the back of the monster, don't you think? Second row. Smell funny. Come on. 
giving a wide berth. All right, come on. Okay. You put your clothes back down. Here's a treat for you. Do you want your quilt? Let's put your quilt on the back of there. Let's put it like this so you can lay on it that way. Oh, so comfy. Mm -hmm. I think I need to move with the camera. All right, everybody, I think that's pretty good. I'll see you. See if you will lay on your clip. everybody oh I have to remember my I'll see you in a later on time.